Okay guys, I'm flipping the Corvus again. Right here. Literally like 10 seconds after the last video ended. Yesterday's video. And we're gonna open this last package from Eric. This is the final thing in the trade-up challenge from this batch. I'm gonna post all of it on Bally Market right after this. But this is my first Max Ace Balasong. This, I believe it was called the Max Ace Petrol, yes. Channel Titanium Max Ace Live Blade. It actually feels really good in the hand. And I'm so curious how it flips. It just seems like, I don't know. It looks really cool, I'll say that much. It reminds me of an Invictus in some ways. I don't know why. Let me know if you see any like Invictus-esque features like I do. But this one is gonna stump me a little bit. Might be a slightly longer video than the Corvus video. Cause I have never flipped one of these and I didn't know it existed. Um, this is on bushings by the way. Um, I didn't know if it was on bushings or bearings. Someone asked me that and I was like, uh, I don't know. And they checked and it says bushings. So, whoa, interesting. Okay, this one's gonna stump me. I can already tell you that much. Mmm. Okay, I'm seeing some issues. So, just based on my very, very quick first thoughts, it flips pretty good. It's got TA hardware, another characteristic of the Invictus. So, yeah, that makes sense why I thought that. It has way too much weight here. I don't know if you can see that, but when I try to fan that, the fan is like, that is like, and it's not a good flat fan like the Corvus. I do, however, think this thing is pretty sweet. Um, besides that one little flaw in balance, which is quite noticeable when you're fanning specifically. It feels pretty, pretty all right. Yeah, it chaplain's good, it rollover's good. Aerial was pretty all right, let's try parabolic. Parabolic's good. Okay, choker fan was pretty good actually. But it's just got a wonky balance. That's kind of what I expected. I knew that I wasn't going to receive this thing and be like, oh my gosh, the best ballast song ever, the Max Ace Petrol. No one ever heard about it, and it would be like a sleeper, great ballast song. It's not. It's a sleeper ballast song for a reason. It's Max Ace. There's probably only like five of these in existence because it's Max Ace and they do that stuff. But despite its little flaws, I do think it's fun. Very fun. It's got a Serpent Striker slash like Basilisk Blade almost. That's what it reminds me of. Like, or even an Invictus Blade, just long pointy. Like that, yeah, definitely. It's very much like a Jerry Hom or Invictus Blade, or like the Max A Serpent Striker too. Very similar, so that's cool. And like looks wise, I love it. I think it's really pretty. I'm probably just gonna slap a super quick anno on this, not even refinish the thing, but just slap a, a pretty little one color anno and call it a day and trade this guy up. Now, if you trade for this, you probably won't be that disappointed. It does not flip bad by any means. 
it's just got some little quirks, some weird little quality issues and just a slightly weird balance. I felt worse balances for sure. But I really feel a lot of weight just there. Like, there's the balance point. I don't know if that helps any of you guys. Also, it's on tang pins, so that's interesting. It doesn't sound the best. Probably because it's on tang pins and the T8 hardware can't really be cranked. But this is a funky little guy. Like I said, channel titanium. And I don't know what blade this is. M390. I don't know if that's actually the blade steel or if that's just a number. But seems to be pretty high quality materials. Um, and it just doesn't quite work. Very unique though, that's for sure. If you want a unique balance, this thing's got it. If you want a weird Maxace product that no one's ever seen, like it's right here waiting for you. But this is quite interesting for sure. Okay, I'm gonna do a jump cut real quick. See if I can tighten these pivots and I'll be right back. Okay, well that did something. It's got a ring. That's pretty cool. And the tolerances are really good actually. These are like machine wise level tolerances right here, which is pretty good for Maxace.